V partner Sachin Gupta shares his perspective on handling rejections, finding your destination in life, and how to nurture the entrepreneur's mindset. What do you say when people ask you why QNet products are expensive? Well, there are two ways to look at this. Tell me, is a Ferrari expensive or cheap? Most people would say it's expensive, but I say, it's expensive for those who don't have the money to buy it. Anything which you find expensive is an indicator of how much money you make. So, when it comes to starting your QNet business, rather than thinking that the products are expensive, think about the destination in life wherein nothing would be expensive to you. If you can gather up some money to buy a product, a good holiday, a top quality water filter, a life enhancing energy product, keep in mind that along with that product comes a business opportunity. And this opportunity is what can give you that level of financial freedom, the freedom of not having to use the word, expensive. What do you say to people who say that they do not have money to join QNET? Let's say you're a mechanic and want to start a repair shop, you'd need to buy the tools to run the shop, right? If you want to become an Uber driver, you need to buy a car. Even if it's on a loan, you'd still need to spend money first, but you do it. Because you know that, from that car, you can earn future income. Starting your QNET business works the same way, there is a small registration fee. There is no capital required, you just need to sell the products or buy them if you wish to use them yourself. So, actually, it's just the expense to starting a business. And if you're not ready to do that either, then I have nothing else to say. Maybe you're good with having a job and entrepreneurship isn't for you. What do you say to prospects who tell you they saw negative news online about QNET? I tell them, if you've read about the negative news, then you should have come across the positive news also. If you want to do some research, then do it properly. There are plenty of positive examples you can find online, QNET success stories being one of them. Focusing on the people who failed won't help you succeed. Talk to people who have succeeded in direct selling and learn how you can as well. In every industry, not just in direct selling, there are people who succeed and people who fail. It all depends on your attitude. In the end, you need to decide, who do you want to follow? A success, or a failure? Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your team members, also, to get the future video updates don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon.